Now, there's nothing better than a new airport being inaugurated, and that's exactly what's happening over at Turkey with their new Istanbul International Airport. Now, this project has been going on for quite a while now, and I've made quite a few videos regarding this, but the sheer volume and scale of this airport is a great achievement for the designers, the builders and the owners. So, the Turkish nation should be proud of what they've been able to achieve. But if this is your first time hearing about it and you have no idea what it's about, then let's talk about it. So we know that the Gulf carriers have a geographical advantage due to their location, with it being a door to either the east or the west depending on the direction you're travelling. They've been able to exploit this advantage to a great extent, and this is one of the reasons for the success of the Gulf carriers. Now Turkey, whether you class them as Gulf or European, that's another topic, they're also not very far from the Gulf carriers. So they also have the ability to exploit their geographical location. Now the new airport that they built is aiming to become a massive travel hub and potentially steal some of the Gulf's demand. Although the airport was inaugurated on Monday, it's still in its design phase, and once it's completed, they're hoping to see as much as 200,000 passengers passing through the airport daily. Now Ataturk International Airport is already at its breaking point. And with the current expansion plans of Turkish Airlines, they've pushed for the new airport and they're also a shareholder in the project. The project is estimated to cost around $12 billion. And you would think with that price tag, they would come with some fancy name, wouldn't you? Well, they've simply named it Istanbul Airport, which is kind of disappointing if I'm being honest. But nevertheless, by the end of the year, the current airport which is Ataturk International will cease operations and Istanbul new airport will become the city's main airport. They've also taken the consideration of the passengers and they've created various connection points to get to the airport via the metro, the road or the high speed train. Now once it's complete, they're hoping to become one of the world's busiest airports within the next few years, which will encourage the economy and also create many jobs. Now, if you remember back to Heathrow's opening of Terminal 5, well, that was a disaster. So I don't think they'll be able to reach that status just yet without massive teething problems. So guys, once the whole project is completed by 2028, the airport will be considerably larger than Heathrow. Now, Atlanta has 5 runways, Dubai has 2 runways, JFK has 4, and Istanbul will feature 6 runways, which will allow it to accommodate up to 200 million passengers per year, making it one of the busiest airports in the world. Now, currently, Atlanta International holds the record of 104 million passengers travelling through its building. So, it's going to take some serious effort to overthrow that title. Maybe not in the near future, but 10 or 20 years from now, we could see them welcoming more than 200 million passengers per year. Now, initially, all flights were expected to transfer over to the new airport from Ataturk on Monday. However, only a few Turkish regional flights will begin to arrive at the new airport this week, and the full transition won't happen until the end of December. Once the transition is complete, Ataturk Airport will eventually be converted into a public park, and this will be called the People's Garden. So all in all guys, whether the airport will become one of the world's busiest, it seems very likely. Given that it's taking over all of the traffic from the existing one, which is already one of the world's busiest. Now we can see that demand in Turkey is growing rapidly. This will be a great opportunity for them to grow their country and also get away from the problems that they're currently facing, and also rival the likes of Emirates, Qatar and also Etihad. Now guys, if you're Turkish, then you should be very proud because this is a great milestone for your country. So captains, that's all there is from me at this moment in time, share your thoughts and opinions as always and stay tuned for the next video.